many have entertained angels on our ways. Many have entertained angels on our way. Have you entertained angels and you didn't know about it? And later when the angel have departed, you realize that you have just discussed with angels. Many have entertained angels on our way. The Bible, the book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 1 and 2, it said, Let brotherly love continue. He said, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for many have entertained angels on our way. In other words, many have encountered angels. Many have encountered angels. When you experience angels or you encounter demons, it shows your growth in spiritual ways. In the spiritual figures of God, you are growing from height to height, from glory to glory. I've entertained angels. I've encountered angels. I have come across demons. I have come across strange spirits. And you have to separate between evil spirit and the spirit of God, which is the angel of God. My topic says, Many have entertained angels on our ways. Many have encountered angels. It shows that you are growing. Your spiritual life is growing. I remember some time ago, Amen. I was having a kind of a nap while I was sleeping, in a way. And the angel of God came and tapped me, woke me up. He showed me himself. In our house, he showed me himself, but I didn't see his, 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 his head. Was I can't figure it out. He said, What did he come to tell me? Good news, he came to tell me, Go and wake your wife inside and pray with her, join her together, and pray with her. So I went to meet my wife. I said, Shall we pray? And she agreed immediately. And I prayed with her for a reasonable cause, and, and we had our prayer powerfully. But I did not tell her about the angel's encounter. That why I came to pray with her it was the angel. I have not told her. Maybe when she watches the telecast, she will know. I didn't tell her. Many have entertained angels on our way. That's my topic. The Bible says that, you know, let brotherly love continue. You don't know who is coming your way tomorrow. And so let the love of God be shed abroad in your hearts so that. God will know your mind and relate with you well. And so don't be surprised when demons come to tempt you. You can separate demons from the angel of God. About just about three days ago, I encountered with demons. As I finished praying my, my normal usual way of praying, I went to lie down. I just lay down, not quite one minute. The demon just took my, just showed me a place. I just showed me an, a trance. And he showed me somebody that was dead in this state where I stay here. The person died about five years ago. There were about four. The person was by the left side. There were about three demons by the right hand side. And when three demons were by the right hand side, I heard a voice told me, he said, that very man want to talk to me. I said, that man you are seeing, he's dead. He's a dead man. He's dead already. And once I said that, there was confusion among them and I woke up. Many have entertained angels on our way. That's my topic today. The standard of your spiritual life with God, your spiritual fellowship with God, determine how you are going to overcome your spiritual world. Many have entertained angels on our way. That's my topic. If I was not spiritually high, they would use the dead man to attack me. The man was there some time ago, about four or five years ago, but they said they want to talk to me. I said, no, he can't talk to me now because he's a dead man. And the vision faded away. Look at the, the, the encounter I had with the angel. When he told me to go and pray with my wife. And I went to pray with her. For something very powerful. And we had good results about the prayers. It's a, the type of life you live determines how God will live with you. My topic says, many have entertained angels on our ways. You know, many are times, sometime, and God just come by himself. And I remember the other day, last time, 
the angel of God came, the time of my prayer has already reached. As I was praying, I was praying, I was praying, I just dozed away, trying to sleep, you know, and I could see the angel of God, when he touched me, he said, innocent, get up and pray. That was the voice of angel. That was the angel ministration for me. My angel that God gave to me to supervise my way, my going and my coming in. The Bible says, book of Revelation 3 verse 8. He said, Behold, I say before you open doors, which no man can close. Amen. He said, I know that you have a little strength, and I have not denied my name. That was the angel of God talking to John the, John the Apostle of Jesus. That he has not denied his name. You know that he has a little faith. Amen. And so that was the ministration to the church of Philadelphia. That he has, they have little faith. They have not denied they have not denied the name of the Lord God. My topic says, many have entertained angels unawares. You have entertained angels. You have not known who they were angels. Sometimes you realize that after they have left, I said, that was an angel I encounter. That was the angel. So how is your life? If you see an angel today, can you stand the angel? Can you stand that angel? Can you stand it? Or you'll be afraid, you'll be scared. If you see a demon, can you stand demon? I remember some time ago I had vision. And I saw a demonic, satanic demonic. And he was trying to attack me and I faced the demon. And my spirit told me, wake up from your dream. He said, Track. He said go back to the earth. He said, wake up. And so my spirit, and I said, okay, let me wake up from this dream. I was, I, I was myself full in the dream. And, my, and the spirit of God told me, wake up from this dream go back to the world and i woke up from my dream i said okay let me wake up i woke up from my dream the type of your encounter with god it shows your growth spiritually i'm not telling you stories of others the story about myself i'm encountered angels he has given me directions many of it are angels unaware who do you entertain let us grow up and when Mary, the mother of Jesus, saw the angel of God, the angel of God came to her and told her, Luke chapter 1 verse 28. He said, Hey Mary, thou art highly favored. Blessed are thou among women. Blessed are thou among women. It takes the favor of God to encounter angels. I pray that God will favor you. This year, 2024, you will encounter angels that will bring favor on your way. I said, God will bring favor upon your way. Many have entertained angels they are not knowing. This year, you will encounter the angel of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, book of Genesis 18. The Bible talks about the life of Abraham. Abraham was a friend of God. And he encountered the angel of God and encountered God himself. Bible says book of Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 to 14, that Abraham encountered the angel of God. And the angel of God instructed Abraham. Three of them came to Abraham. One was the Lord Jesus. The rest two were the angel of God, while one was the Lord Jesus. They were not having wings. So Abraham could not have known them by ordinary physical looking. He knew them by the Spirit of God in him and by the instinct of God. He was able to entertain those angels. He never knew they were angels, but the Spirit of God in him could realize, could figure out that these are angels of God. And God is among them. Physically they came. And Abraham was having a kind of realization outside his home. And Abraham said, Ah, what? You are passing by. Please, can I take care of you? Can I feed you? I just want to entertain you. <laughs> Many have entertained angels not knowing. Abraham could realize that this, 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 this is the spirit of God walking here, here now. Physically, not having wings, not having feather, no. And Abraham, you know, constrain them, compare them. I want to take care of you, entertain you. Amen. And the angel of God agreed. And Abraham quickly carried some of the animals, gave it to his boys to prepare. After they are eating, they blessed Abraham. When you entertain those strangers, you don't know that they may be angels. It's not everyone you drive away. Not everyone you ask come from. 
Try to entertain people. You don't know who may be angels among them. Let the love of God continue in your life. What you have done for people, you might have received insults. They might have played you, you know, a kind of 419, but don't worry. They might have scammed you, but don't worry. That doesn't stop your good for others. Because you may not know who may be angels in the next trip. And as Abraham was, you know, the wife was barren. But before they left Abraham, they released blessing upon him. When you encounter angel of God, he come to rain blessing upon you. They told Mary, thou are highly favored. I'm talking to somebody. This year, 2024, you will experience and encounter the angel of God. You will experience God himself. The Spirit of God is going to direct you. Joshua told, when Joshua encountered with a strange being in the war front, he told him, who are you? Are you with us or against us? I want to, let's fight now. I want to deal with you. And the angel of God told him, calm down. I'm one of the sons of God in heaven. I came to help you. <laughs> I see God bringing help to you through his angels. This year, you will encounter angels. My top is the man. Many have encountered angels unaware. Many have encountered angels unaware. He labado. And before the angel of God left Abraham, they released blessing upon him. I see the blessing of God coming upon your life. You will encounter angels. You will be spiritually minded. He said to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. If you are so carnal, you don't pray, you don't fast, you don't study the Bible, you don't mind the things of God, you will never encounter angels. You know encounter angels. You will not grow. So this, the way you are closer to God, heaven begins to reveal himself to you in different dimensions. And so before they go, before the angel of God left Abraham, in verse 14 of Genesis 18, he said, they told Abraham, say, is there anything too hard for God to do? He said, at the appointed time, I will return. <laughs> and Sarah shall have a son. <laughs> and Sarah shall have a son at the time of life. I don't know what you are believing God for. God is waiting for you. Give your time to him. Give your heart to him. He will bless you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Amen. The Bible spoke of John 14 verse 1. It said, let not your heart be troubled. You yeah, believe in God, believe also in me. Jesus Christ is speaking now. I don't know who is troubled. You are troubled in your heart right now. God is speaking an encounter along your way. It's, you are going to encounter miracles. Going to encounter favor. Going to encounter blessings. Do you hear me say amen? When you encounter angel of God, it can bring blessings. It can bring causes. Be careful. The Bible says, book of Genesis chapter 19, from verse 1, to verse, if you read it, to verse around 10 or so. The Bible says that after, you know, the Lord himself has spoken to Abraham, he said, I am going to Sodom and Gomorrah. I will not hide it from you. I want to go and do something, to destroy them. And Abraham pleaded. And at the long run, the angel of God left. The Lord left them. Then allowed two angels to go to that land. Because it was three of them that came to meet Abraham. But it was two that went to Sodom and Gomorrah. And when they went there, the Bible says that Lord was having, you know, a sweet time outside his gate. Gate of, in the gate of Sodom. And the two of them came and encountered, you know, with, you know, with, with Lord. And Lord said, let me entertain you. They said, no, we are going to stay outside. We can't come into your house. They were just pretending. And he said, please, let me entertain you. Remember, many of the entertain angels on our way. They, he was thinking to entertain them. He said, no, we're going to go, to, go in. They were not having wings. So you cannot know that whether they were the angels. But the Spirit of God, him could tell him, this might be, let me entertain people. And this Spirit of God, I can't allow people to be stranded on the street. And they agreed, not knowing that they were angels. And the people of the land, they were homosexuals. They were lesbians. The other last time we saw Pope, of the Vatican approving the same sex marriage. Ichabod is coming upon the nations, upon the church. The church need prayer. They need to encounter angels to judge them. And the Bible said the people of the land told 
uh, Lord, bring out those two men that came out. We want to have, you know, sexual relationship with them. Men. We want to have sexual relationship with men. And he begged them. Lord, beg those those uh, people that were around. The, the, the neighbors. And he said, please, I have my two daughters here. They are no known man. They are virgins. Can you have them? And the people said, no. These people that came now, want to make love with them. He cabal. Abomination. That's what we are seeing in the land today. Abomination everywhere. The world need to encounter angels. Need to, our government need to, need to encounter God. Our church need to encounter God for judgment. To correct the church. The Vatican said you can get safe marriage now. You can have fornication, you can have adultery, you can, you can have homosexualism, lesbianism with themselves. We need to encounter angels for judgment this time of time. The Bible says that they did not agree. They did not agree that they, they, did, they should meet with the two daughters. And they want to go and drag those men out of the house of you know, Lot. And the angel of God became angry and now showed themselves. And they said, Lot, go inside. We want to deal with these people. And because we have seen God's judgment, we came to see it physically, how it looked like. Because God sent us here. And he flitted those people with blindness. He judged them immediately. And he said, get up, get up, carry all your things. God has sent us here to judge, to judge this nation, Sodom. And get everybody out, out, out. And the Lord went to speak with the illos because the daughters were already having, you know, married them, but they were not going into them yet. And he said, let us go away from this land. The angel of God said, we should live here to go to another area. And they made light of it. Which kind of angel said you come here? These are the illos now. They didn't believe God. And those people perish with this with the land. You want to encounter angel? Let this year be a fertile year for you to encounter angels. Prepare yourself. Something good is coming. Something dynamic is coming. Marvelous. Something amazing. Something incredible. God wants to visit you. God wants to visit the church. You want to visit the nation. My topic still remain. Many have entertained angels, not knowing, unawares. Prepare yourself to, to encounter angels this year. Prepare your year. Prepare yourself to encounter God. God wants to do something in your life. Not just to encounter Him, to just bless you and go away like that. He wants to make good use of you. He wants to set you forth. He wants to amplify your life. He wants to reno re renovate your life. He wants to amplify the anointing He has deposited in your life. He wants to send you forth. He wants to increase you. If you hear me, say amen. And so many of entertained angels unaware. Sometimes, God do come to me Himself. Ah! He said, innocent, it's time to pray. He tapped me, get up and pray. He speak to my ear, in my children's voice. Say, said, it's time to pray. I'll encounter him. I'll encounter him. Angels are existing. They live among us here. In form of human beings. Sometimes we greet them on the way so that they greet us first. Angels are going. Who do you encounter in your life? Where are you going to? What are you doing with your life? God did not bring you to this world to come and waste you. Or for the devil to come and waste you. He brought you to this purpose of life for a reason. A purpose to affect your generation. A purpose for the encounter with God and with man. After you have encountered angels, God wants to, you to encounter the world. To minister to them the message he has given to you. Halabado. Beribo tabahatata. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers because many have entertained angels unawares. Be careful. God is coming. He's coming very soon. Lebru Sabalama Totore Haza. Many have entertained angels unaware. Be ready. God wants to rapport with you. He wants to encounter with you as father and son relationship. I pray God. We open our eyes to see his presence in our lives. Thank you, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.